Hello everybody, it's Sarah and today is a very exciting video for me because I'm going to tell you a little bit about a favorite stereotype of mine in fantasy literature. And that stereotype is the character of the teacher or mentor. And these characters most of the time will be my favorite character in the book. I will try to tell you a little bit about the characters without spoiling anything, but I'm not sure how far I can go. The first character is From, from the Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. The first book is Aragon. And Brom has a very dark past. We meet him, first meet him in Aragon's village as kind of the storyteller who isn't very social. He, he doesn't like socializing a lot. He, he takes it on himself to show Aragon what being a dragon rider is all about. And I just love him so much. He's also a bit sarcastic and he's amazing. Next I have Eleazar from the Hydron Chronicles by Jennifer Fallon. The first book is Wolfblade and Eleazar is actually a lot like Tyrion Lannister. I... a little bit. And he is a dwarf and he's also a slave. And at the very beginning of the book, his master is cruelly murdered and everyone in like the entourage of the master is murdered as well. But he manages to survive. But he knows that it will be a very short survival because witnesses can't be kept alive. And so he sees his chance when he meets the princess of the country, Mala Wolfplate. And the two of them really get inseparable. Before she meets Elisar, Marla is very naive, but after she meets him, he kind of shows her how to be very political. He tells her all of the political knowledge he has, and it's just the bond between them is just so beautiful because they are friends, they love each other, they don't want to admit that they love each other. But at the same time, they still have this relationship between master and slave. So it's, it's a very ambiguous relationship. Next, I have someone who I don't know if he qualifies as a teacher, but I just love him, so I'm going to mention him anyway. And that's Edward Ted from the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series by Laurel K. Hamilton. Edward is a sociopath and he kind of taught Anita a lot of what she knows about killing vampires and they are friends but not really because he would kill her in an instant even though he'd be sorry afterwards but it's it's a very strange relationship and I don't even know if he qualifies as a teacher. Next, I have someone whose name I have forgotten, and that's the crazy teacher from the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. Um, there's not really anything I can say about him, except maybe he is one of the few persons who we think knows the name of the wind, and. Kurtha wants to learn with him, but as I said, he's crazy, so that you have to read it yourself if you want to know if it worked out. Next I have Ido from the Chronicles of the Emerged World by Licia Troisi. And Ido. What should I say about Ido? I love him so much. First of all, he's a gnome. Gnome. I don't know what you call it. And he also has a very dark past. First of all, he never had a student. And then Nihal, our protagonist, is sent to him as a student. And at first, he's just really, what, what do I want with, with a woman, with a demi-elf, as a student? That's just useless to me. But 
as the story progresses, he... The relationship between them is so special and at the end they really tell each other that they are like family for each other. And I love... I just love him so much. And he is really the only person who manages to to stop Nihal from pursuing just her revenge for her family, for her race. And that's just what I love about Ido. I love him so much. And lastly, I probably have my favorite character of all time, if I had to name one. And that is Satan, Damon Sadiabolo from the Black Jewels series by Anne Bishop. Seriously, you knew that there would be one character from this book, right? So, <laughs> Satan is one of the strongest people in this world, but at the same time he has a very strict code of honor, which he does not break. And when I say he does not break it, I mean he does not break it. And that's because he says that people with as much power as he has, they have to have some kind of code to protect the people around them. And he really is such a warm person, even though there are a lot of people who are afraid of him. And when Yanel's friends come visit one time, he kind of adopts all of them and teaches them everything he knows about honor and about magic and just everything. And I love him so much. He's just... He doesn't really ask, but he just accepts you as a student, as a part of the family, and... And you know you're part of the family, the huge family, once you can call him Uncle Satan. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me some of your favorite teachers, mentors, everything. And I really hope I'll see you soon. Kiss kiss.